In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to upgrade the Ender 3 with the CR Touch and getting the correct Z offset so that it works perfectly every time. So, if you don't have a CR Touch device on your printer, you're going to be chasing problems uh, to the end of time, I believe. Um, there's just no way of getting this uh, completely level. It doesn't matter how many times you run the screw knobs up and down and try and fiddly fart around with it. But when you go to the edges like this, you're gonna have issues like I'm showing here where it won't stick. Some places it will, some places it won't. And it's just a, a major pain in the butt. Now you'll need a CR Touch and I'll put a product link in the description below for the exact one that I purchased on Amazon. So the first thing we need to do is go get our software and we'll flash it on to the micro SD card. Creality's website. Uh, the page is uh, creality.com pages downloads and this is just a mess. Uh, the first time I tried this, the instructions say do with or without your filaments. So the first time I did it was this one here, which was the BL Touch without adapter, without the filament. Well, that didn't work. So uh, it just froze the board up or the device up and just it simply wouldn't work. So it turns out, at least for me, that it was this one right here. Because remember, I had the 4.2.2 board. And so it doesn't say anything about BL Touch or CR Touch or anything like that. But if you download it and then extract the contents, you will see a whole bunch of options. And in here, we do have the options for with the filament touch or without the filament. So I just use this one right here, which was without the uh, adapter and it worked. So you're gonna to have to play around with it and try to get the right one for your board. It's a bit of a pain. So just grab the bin file and drop it onto the micro SD card. Now here's the micro SD card. I'm gonna put this in, I just flashed. So the power's off. Now we're going to turn it back on and see if we can get the firmware updated. Okay, now we have a new menu item, bed leveling. So we're going to go back to main because we're not going to do any of this until we install the hardware. I'm going to shut this off and then I'm going to unplug it. Unplug this and then I'll do the hardware. So here are the contents of the kit. We have the sensor unit, this bracket right here which goes right there on the fan mount, and we have a couple of other adapters. Here's the attachment cable and some clip ties. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach the sensor right here to this angled bracket. Okay, the way this, according to directions, the uh, connector part is away, pointing away. So a little notch here goes towards the unit, like this. Screws go from the bottom up. Okay, so those are nice and snug. I'm just going to make sure that there's no slack. Just Okay. I'm going to loosen these two screws or take them off. And then put them back on underneath the unit like this. And get the second screw on. We'll snug those down. Okay, 
Now the next step is to run the cable. Now this is keyed and there's one side where the pins are closer to the wall and that matches this. Make sure you get it in there correctly. Okay, now the next step is we need to route this and connect uh, the bigger end to the uh, CR touch on the motherboard. Uh, there are three screws on this particular model. Okay. Now be very careful. The fan is connected here and there's a small notch. And so we're going to be routing it through that notch. Now this is the Z switch down here. And we won't be needing it anymore, so we're going to disconnect this. Okay. So I'm just going to take this and then put this, tuck this down here at the bottom. And to replace it, the CR Touch is going to replace that Z axis sensor. Now you can see that this is the V 4.2.2 board, and then Right here. That's where the uh, sensor is going to plug in. Make sure you have that. I've seen some reviews online where people didn't have that and then they're in for a, and it'll never work because they don't have the right motherboard. I have the printer up high because I want to make sure this works be before I try and put it down to the bottom. Alright so I'm under motion. I'm going to press auto home. I've got this up high and I want to just test it. Okay, good. So as soon as I touch that switch, it stopped immediately. And that means it's not going to crash into the bed. So I'm going to home it again. At this time, I'm going to let it go all the way down to the bed. Okay, auto home. Now let's let it go. So here it's going to start taking its measurements and this is the first measurement. It's going to go down slowly and then back up and then down again and it'll measure this point. Okay, so we are now ready to do the Z offset because this is about, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that above the bed. So that'll be our next step. Okay, so here's how we're going to do the Z offset, at least for my version of the firmware. And yours might be slightly different. And this does not even agree with the instructions that came with it, but I will show you how to do it. We're going to go in here to the control setting, and we're going to go into bed leveling. Down here on probe Z offset, it's going to lower it down to the bed and then you move this knob up and down until you have just a, a, like a piece of paper slack between the nozzle and the bed itself. When you find that value, which I have already done, because I had to do this several times versus trial and error, then you back out and you say store settings. So what this does is this will flash it onto I believe the SD card. And so when you use that SD card over time it will use that offset setting in conjunction with the with the points that it has picked up, the nine points it has picked up to make the correction in the z-axis. And it works great when it's done correctly and you will know whether it's correct or not because you're either going to have fantastic prints or you're going to have terrible prints. So here is the probe procedure that I had done previously and here I'm taking a piece of paper and I'm lowering that down until I have just the right amount of slack. Okay, so I've got this that's just tight 
So and at this point, we're going to go to the save settings to store this value. Okay, we've probed the Z offset and we've saved the settings. So now you go to bed leveling, level bed, and it will take nine points and measure the actual offset of the table. It'll store those values and then your print should come out very, very well. All right, now the instructions say that you need to add a G28, G29 custom code and the G28 is to home all access and the G29 is bed loving. And I suggest that you do that. However, on my particular firmware, it's ignoring the G29 and it's taking the offset from the value that we stored on the SD card itself. So again, you'll probably have to play around with it and see if the G29 actually works for your firmware. Uh, but for mine, it uh, is just ignored by the printer.